Hi guys, I know it's been a while. I've been sick. I want to tell you all about it. I'm going to go to bring a package to the post office. So I thought I would bring you along and explain the situation to you. All right, so let me tell you a little bit of what happened this past month or so. Uh, in November, my two sons had a hockey tournament it, it was their first tournament so I wanted to to watch them both play each of them were playing at different hours one was playing in the west of the city and the other one was playing in, in the east of the city so I we had to drive back and forth between the, the two arenas that they were playing in this tournament lasted the whole weekend it was on three days so i went to see all the games and sitting in the arena with all the noises and you have to agree with me that you're not comfortably sitting in an arena even though i have my little cushion for someone that has chronic pain in every part of the body arenas is not the place that you want to be for the whole weekend but anyway it was important for me go see my kids play but that opened up the gate to my MECFS flare-up so it went downhill from then I got really really sick it took me a month to get back up this this downhill situation I was going on with my MECFS and it was really painful I wanted to vlog at one time to show you uh, what what exactly happens when when I get flares so I decided not to do it because I was I was too sick to I was pretty much bed bound for in house bound for a few weeks at least and then before I could get up and anyway and then after that starting feeling better I don't know why I did this because I did that to myself I guess my kids needed some appointment to the dentist Anyway, a few appointments like that, that I needed to k take care of, but they were all like in the same time. It doesn't seem like a big deal, right? But when you're chronically ill, driving and having some important things to do is really exhausting. But driving is one of the most painful things that I have to do. It didn't help me to get out of my flare. It just brought me down more. So what happened is that I got sicker. And then with that, I got a cold. When I'm sick with like just a cold, my immune system is already down because of my chronic illness. It just tops it off. So that's why I've been not been, I've didn't film since the last video I put up. It's because of that. So now back I am, I still have the cold, but it's not that bad anymore. I was able to, well, to rest a lot. With, with MECFS, you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. If you want to get through this this disease, if you want to live a life, you need to really, 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 really listen to your body when it tells you that it's time to stop. So I'm gonna bring my package inside and I need to buy some small Christmas gift for the kids for my husband Christmas party at work, so we'll do that. been a small outing but I'm exhausted now all right see ya hi everyone we are the next day and today I need to uh, wrap the kids and hubby Christmas gifts so here we are let's go let's do this so I bought some Christmas paper obviously to wrap the gifts I can wrap the gifts because the kids are not here they're gone with my husband at his work they're doing like a children's party there I am really late this year usually my gifts are are wrapped way before that but I was so sick that I wasn't able to do it but I'm feeling a little bit better still have this cold but uh, at least I can 
I can do stuff even though I have the cold. So yeah, that's why on the 24th I'm wrapping gifts. I am going to put myself some Christmas music. <laughs> singing merrily carols till my ears are bleeding Christmas at Christmas Thank you. 